Hey everybody, welcome to my review for Season 20, Episode 2 of South Park. If you haven't watched the episode, Skank Cunt, yet, click on the link in the description. Be aware that it won't always be there to watch for free. So, the episode starts out with a parent-teacher meeting at South Park Elementary. Dr. Wayne Schroeder, PhD, is there talking about children and internet trolling and Skank Hunt 42. Remember the internet troller from last episode? Yeah. Schroeder says that it's probably one of the boy students at the school who is Skank Hunt 42, since the troller's favorite target seems to be women. The picture of Heidi Turner's mom is shown photoshopped, which was posted after she defended Heidi's right to sit out on the national anthem. Schroeder said since then, the troller has been trolling women all over the internet, and they need to get it together, they as parents need to get it together to stop it and to look for signs in their own child. After the meeting's done, Gerald and his wife Sheila go home, and they're sitting in the car, and Sheila asks Gerald what kind of child would do such a thing. Gerald says that it might be someone who thinks it's funny to stir up, po stir the pot and watch everyone freak out. And maybe the fact that it's not so funny makes it funny to the kids. Then he says that he doesn't understand it. Not to mention, remember last episode, they said that he was Skank Hunt 42. After that, they show a cell phone being held in Heidi Turner's hands. And on the on the cell phone screen is the photoshopped picture of her mom. Heidi is outside in the snow, looking at her phone, sadly. It is revealed that she is on top of a bridge, and she's looking down at the river under the bridge, and she's standing on the edge of the bridge. She picks up her phone, types something in, and a tear begins to come out of her eye. The camera pans up to the sky, and all that is heard is a little splash in the water. The next day at the school, police cars are out in front, and some police officers are at the school asking teachers questions. Everyone is walking through the hallways with a sad face. Bebe and another girl shown crying. Kyle asks Stan what's going on. Stan tells Kyle that Heidi Turner quit Twitter. I really thought, like, <laughs> really, I really thought that Heidi Turner had killed herself over the, um, over all the internet trolling, but it turned out that she quit Twitter. And remember what, with the, um, the splash? I thought that she had jumped off the bridge and killed herself, but it turns out she had just thrown her phone into the river. But I'm relieved they didn't kill off Heidi. Even though she's not my favorite character, even though she never has been. She's not one of my top favorite characters, but I'm glad they didn't kill her. That would have been sad to me, still. That would have been sad. Anyway, Stan tells Kyle that yesterday after school, she wrote one last tweet that said, Goodbye forever, and she just got off for good. Kyle says she'll get back on, but Stan says no because she threw her phone in the river, and she's gone. Next, they show Mr. Mackey and the fourth graders having a meeting in the library about Heidi Turner quitting Twitter. He said they'll have to accept the fact that Heidi Turner isn't on social media anymore and that they'll miss seeing that she's seeing what she's up to, seeing her silly pictures that she posts, and also said that's what happens when someone gets bullied online to the point where they just can't take it anymore. He said that the best thing for them to do is to come together as friends and students. He tells them to get on Twitter to tweet like nice things that they loved about Heidi. And then they go all take out their phones and they start writing, start typing. And Mr. Mackey's like, mm, okay, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's a nice poem. <laughs> I find it somewhat humorous and somewhat sad about how they treated Heidi's quitting Twitter like, like it was a suicide. After that, it's lunchtime and the boys are shown sitting at the table. Stan asks them if they can all agree that whoever is trolling needs to stop. Cartman agrees with Stan and Cartman agrees with Stan and says that it's gone far enough and the girls are really mad at them. Stan says that later that night the troller isn't going to do that again and if he does, they're going to have to do something about it. Cartman basically rephrases what Stan says and then Kyle looks at him in an unconvinced way, like Because he just knows it's Cartman who is Skank Hunt 42. Next, 
they show Gerald again, and he's talking to his other son, Ike. He tells Ike that there's someone trolling on the school message board, and the troller got a big reaction from it, so now he's trolling people all over the internet and getting famous. He says it's a little funny, but it's serious too. After he walks out of Ike's room, his wife Sheila asks Gerald if he talked to Ike. Gerald said, yeah, I talked to him, yeah. Then, after that, Gerald said that he has some work to do. He then goes into his study, dims the lights, puts on a record, pours himself some wine, and then starts trolling women on the internet. Not to mention, it was revealed that he was the troller last episode. I know I already said that, but I just have to remind you all. The next day at school, the girls are standing in a group on a playground talking about the trolling that's been occurring. Annie says that they need to make the boys suffer, and Wendy says that the boys' punishment needs to be swift and serious. And they need to make a statement the girls in South Park aren't going to be treated like afterthoughts anymore. While the girls are rallying, the boys are overseeing them. The boys then hold a meeting themselves in the restroom. Kyle suggests that they prove that Cartman is the troller since they want to see Cartman punished. Clyde then suggests that Cartman is the root of all of their problems, and they need to end it. And they all know what has to be done. Stan agrees that they should follow through with that. He suggests that they take on their plans in the woods and knows how to convince Cartman to go. Stan tells Cartman that after school that he and the guys are going over to his uncle's cabin in the woods. He says that they're going to have a slumber party and they're going to play Counter-Strike all night with no one around to bother them. Cartman is stoked to hear that. He's like, oh my gosh, really? Really? That is so cute. <laughs> yeah, he's stoked. Stan tells him not to tell anyone where he's going because they don't want adults to know because there's going to be a lot of junk food there. And Cartman's like, yeah, I'm down. Cool. Yeah, I'll go. Next, Mr. Mackey is shown in his office enjoying some member berries. Remember member berries from last episode? From Remember Reagan? Remember Chewbacca? I remember. <laughs> oh, I remember. Mr. Mackey is enjoying his member berries until Scott Malkinson comes into his office all upset. Scott says that no one pays attention to him and that nobody cares. He just wants to end it all. Mr. Mackey tells them that they've talked about this and says that Scott doesn't want to, does not want to quit Twitter. Scott says that everyone will be happier if he did. Mr. Mackey asks Scott how his parents would feel if he quit Twitter. And he says that, he, that he's got a lot of posts and tweets ahead of him and he cannot end it all. Scott agrees with, with Mr. Mackey. Mr. Mackey then tells him to come back and talk to him whenever he needs to. Then after that, Scott walks out of the room, and Mr. Mackey begins to pull out his member berries. And just as he does that, Scott comes, comes running back into the room again, talking about how he's going to quit Twitter. Next, Stan, Kyle, Cartman, Clyde, Craig, Token, Jimmy, and Butters are shown walking through the woods. All of them, except Cartman, are silent. He, Cartman then asks the boys if they're alright. Stan says they're fine, and maybe they'll get to the cabin quicker if they don't talk much. Next, a business office is shown with lots of people on computers. One of the workers brings up trolling on their campaign site to the attention of the office's boss. The, the boss basically tells him not to let the trolling get to him, and that that person has nothing to do and probably still lives with his mother. Saying that Next, Gerald is shown marching through the neighborhood, smiling like nothing's wrong. He goes over to the store, and he, when he gets to the store, he doesn't let anything get in the way of his happiness. I think the reason why they had this little segment is to just show how people think that he's innocent. Because nobody suspects that Gerald is Skank Hunt 42, and like, he's just basically, everybody thinks that he's innocent, they think he has nothing to do with it, so, yeah. But, I don't know why they did that for sure. Next, Mr. Mackey is shown locking up his office. Scott Malkinson approaches him again, talking about how he's going to quit Twitter. And then Mr. Mackey then invites him to his office. Now back with the boys. The boys finally make it to the cabin. 
They walk inside. Cartman notices that there's a shovel with a hole dug in the ground outside of the cabin. While Cartman starts to get settled in, Kyle closes the door. Then the rest of the boys take weapons from their backpacks, such as a bat, a mallet, a knife, and a wrench. When Cartman turns around, he sees them holding weapons. Clyde says the girls are going to do something drastic to them, and they have to take matters into their own hands. Stan says that Cartman brought this upon himself and that they're sorry. Terrified, Cartman realizes and then says that they're going to break all of his stuff so that he can't get online. He says, please, please, this is like two Christmases and a birthday worth of stuff, please. He pleads them not to break his stuff. Cartman says that he's not skank hunt. Then after that, the boys then beat and break Cartman's phone, tablet, and computer. Then after that, they have them buried in the hole in the ground outside of the cabin. Cartman screams. <laughs> wow, they were, I really, they were acting like they were going to kill him, but. Mr. Mackey gets a late night phone call from Scott Melkinson saying that he's going to quit Twitter for sure. Mr. Mackey then tries to convince him not to do that. He says that if he doesn't quit Twitter that night, they can talk all day tomorrow. Scott thinks that he can't do it. Annoyed, Mr. Mackey says to himself, Just do it already. Okay. Next, Gerald is shown in his office doing more trolling on his computer. He is about to walk out of the room, but he gets a notification on his computer. It is a link to the news clip. He then clicks the link. The reporter on the clip says that another internet troller has been wreaking havoc on message boards and recently attacked a Danish website for women with breast cancer and caused the website to be temporarily shut down. The reporter says that the user by the name of skankhunt42 is behind all of that. Gerald is excited to find out that he made it to the news. The founder of the website speaks out on the incident. The founder says that she's not shocked, sad, or giving the troller the satisfaction. The troller can have his fun, and she's going to be the bigger person, and she's going to show that the people of Denmark aren't easily broken down. Gerald says, game on, and then he starts typing. I wonder why he's doing this. I really do. I can't wait to find out when they um say why he was doing this. Back at school, Stan tells Kyle that the internet troller was all over the internet the night before, and it wasn't Cartman. They took Cartman out for no reason, and they can't undo what they've done. After that, the fourth grade girls have another meeting. Nellie says that the time has come. They said that if the trolling doesn't stop, there will be severe consequences. She tells the girls to get the word out to every girl in school, and it goes down tomorrow. Wendy says that she doesn't know if she can go through with it. Nicole says to Wendy that every girl in school has to be on board or else it means nothing. Annie says that with that plan, they'll have to listen. The next day, Annie approaches a boy and hands him a folded piece of paper. The boy opens it up and it reads, I'm breaking up with you forever, Annie. The boy starts crying. So it turns out that that boy was Annie's boyfriend. So then all of the girls hand their boyfriends breakup notes. Red gives one to Kevin, Nellie gives one to Francis, and Nicole gives one to Token. Then Kyle is shown looking at his class picture. The class picture is shown, and Cartman is shown slowly fading out of the picture. Stan then walks through the hallway, seeing papers on the floor and crying boys. Wendy approaches him with a note, and he opens the note. She broke up with him. That's the end of the episode. Well, that was such a depressing way to end the episode. This is supposed to be a comedy show, but this episode was more dramatic. I still liked it, though. That was so sad out at the end. They all, they, they all broke up with their boyfriends. 
And I don't know why they had the characters act like having a Twitter or like a phone was like important as a life. They were acting like they were acting like someone died. Remember when quit Heidi quit Twitter and threw her phone in, in, in the water? They're acting like she died. The boys smashed up Cartman's electronics and Car and then Kyle was looking at that picture with a tear in his eye showing Cartman fading out as if he had died. I don't get it. And with Scott Malkinson saying he was going to quit Twitter, it's kind of like, it's like he was saying he was going to commit suicide, saying he couldn't take it anymore. People would be better off if I, if I did so. So, I don't know why they're acting like, I don't understand that. I hope they elaborate on that later in the season or maybe i have to look up on the um the south park archives wikia page about that that should clear things up for me so yeah that's basically all i have to say about this ep this um about this episode thank you guys for watching thank you so much sorry i was late with posting this video my hair was a mess the other day i just couldn't post a video looking like the struggle up here Okay. Remember to thumbs up the video if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my South Park Archives Wikia profile. The link is in the description. Watch my other videos too. If you like my sweat, see my hoodie? See it? See it? Like it? Love it? If you like my hoodie and you want to buy it from Amazon, the link is in the description. And I really hope that it's available for you to buy whenever you click on it. I bought this hoodie like at the beginning of this year, I believe, yeah. Follow me on Twitter at ILU more than this. And I hope you guys like this video better than the last one. I noticed that, um, I noticed the last one got a lot of dislikes. Yeah, so I really hope this one is better. And if you guys wanna watch that one, as terrible as it is, the link is in the description. Go on, watch it. See for yourself what you think. That's not the point. The point of the video is just to um, review the episode. So, yeah. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.